Hello, this is Tara Galliano of Rediscovering My Body. And if you like these videos, you can like the button below and subscribe. So welcome to my YouTube channel, Rediscovering My Body. And this is a follow-up video to The Big Ask, which was one of the most popular videos on this video channel. So I'm just going to review The Big Ask briefly. So The Big Ask involved assessing whether the person can give you what it is you want, whether they have the capacity. And if not, then that's the end, right? Because you need to be able to ask somebody who's going to be able to give you what it is that you're requesting assessment. And then the second piece is to come in with positive expectations that you actually will get what you want. Like if you order a latte, you imagine you'll get a latte. Easy peasy. There's never any doubt their espresso machine might be broken. However, mostly you have positive expectations that your request will be fulfilled. So come into this ask like that. And number three is be specific. So like you asked for the latte, you asked for an oat milk latte with hazelnut syrup, 12 ounce, please double shot. Okay. So specific, so you can get what it is that you want. So the more specificity that your request has, the better that it will be fulfilled. That's three. So assessment of the capacity, positive expectations, and then specificity of your request. And then the fourth thing is to repeat, because that is super sexy to not be based all of your information on assumptions. So when you ask, you're being vulnerable, you're taking a risk, and that's super se sexy. So those are the four elements of the big ask. And now we're going to dive into it a little bit deeper, because what I find is that oftentimes, even though that's a simple formula, we get flustered when we're learning new things. And so it takes time. We get a little bit messy and that's all good. So the way I like to practice is I like to practice in front of a mirror. So I actually talk to myself for a little bit, get used to my facial expressions, get a better understanding of what I could possibly look like to the other person as I make a request of them. And what does that do? Well, it puts me at a little bit more ease. It helps me connect with mirror neurons, right? <laughs> Literally. But I get this reflection of myself asking that request so then I can begin to imagine in my mind and create the visual of what it will look like. And then with that visualization, it makes it so much easier to enact and actually be embodied. So I invite you to try that. And then the second piece is to begin to make requests to another that are true for you, that are maybe of little or no consequence. So you might ask them, would you do the dishes? Maybe that's a big deal in your house. So maybe you want to start with something small, but you can begin with a yes or no question of, would you do the dishes? It's life, not life altering, right? But you're making the request. And then if they say no, how do you receive that? That's a big deal. Oftentimes, no is not just no, I'm not going to do that, but we take it as a personal rejection that there's something wrong with us. And then we we'll create a story. The narrative begins and we fall into our own fallibles. And whoa, we don't need to do that. A no can just be a no. No, I don't want to do the dishes. Okay. I don't want to do them either. Okay. Done, done. No doing dishes tonight must be going out to eat. Fun. <laughs> so begin to make the requests, but they need to be real. You can't be outrageous that there's no skin in the game. Like, let's go to Jupiter. Probably not going to happen today. Maybe not even this lifetime. Maybe for some of you. However, it's not currently in a lot of people's realities at this point. So you need to be asking something that's true. Got to have some skin in the game. Okay. And then the third piece is, that's all I have. I only have two items for you. Practice in the mirror. Mm -hmm. And then the second one is to begin to make requests that are easy peasy. 
and then you can build the stakes. So maybe that's a third one is coming into something that's really of more consequence. And that is after you've built some skills around asking and it's not the manipulation and it's not the coercion. So I invite you to try out these two new ideas. And if you like this video, like below, and I'd love to hear more from you about what worked well. Much love.